okay I changed my hat I had on my Michael Kors beanie but it didn't kind of it didn't go well I'm just running off to the store real quick yeah so I got my old navy job I think I got it from like simply 10 and just my regular work boots you know casual cute running errands Hey, it's your girl, the mouthpiece. I just had to get on here. I'm still having problems with my camera, y'all. <laughs> and today is Sunday, January 30th. Excuse my ashy lips. Um, today is Sunday, y'all, January 30th. Yesterday was the 29th. I was supposed to go to um a wedding but the groom came down with COVID which I'm glad he found out when he did because then that meant a whole bunch of people would have been exposed to COVID um but it was his birthday and he had to cancel his wedding so that was a downer I didn't get to go so me and Bay, me and Bay, just kind of hung out watched TV movies all day yesterday and I cleaned up a little bit. But let me tell y'all something. I had a whole day planned for today. I had part two of cleaning the house. And then a bunch of stuff that I had planned. And then right before I went to bed last night before I watched uh, Ghost. <coughs> Power, whatever it's called. Y'all know the one that's on now. I got on Facebook and um, I found out my auntie lost her husband last night, well, yesterday, about six o'clock. So that just trumps all my Sunday plans. So I'm here at Walmart early in the morning, you know, trying to go get some stuff. Y'all know, you know how it is when somebody passed. You got a bunch of people over. And um, so I'm going to get some water, some toilet paper, paper towel, stuff like that that I think she might need. So anyway, can y'all please, please pray for the LaBalas family, um, Alice and Marcus. They have one son together and um, he found his dad and he tried to do CPR. Um, so that in itself is traumatizing. So anyway, I'm going to be over there most of the day. I may film, I may not. You know, you got different people be over there and they don't like it. You know, they assume I'm on Facebook, um, but I'm YouTubing. But we'll see. I, I'll do what I can. But you guys, I love you. If you're new to my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Go to my Instagram, The Mouthpiece. Facebook, my name is Dorisa Armstrong on Facebook. My Facebook group. It's called Daughters Without Dads. Check me out. Love you guys. See you later. Hey, y'all. It's the Mouthpiece. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to this channel, please like, share, and subscribe. The last time I got on, I was at Walmart, y'all. Going to get some things for my aunt because uh, her husband just passed away this week. Um, yeah, last week, Friday, when I got off work, I just had the unction to pray, 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 pray. I prayed for all of my friends and family, and it was a warfare prayer. Ugh. It was a warfare prayer. Um, because I just didn't know what was going on, but I knew it was getting ready to be something, so I was obedient. And I prayed. I don't have no earrings on. Okay, I'm going to do that. Uh, but yeah, so I just prayed and prayed and prayed. And I'm telling you, ever since that day, it's been one thing after another happening. Okay, so that was a Thursday or Friday morning when I prayed. 
um, was planning to go to a wedding on that Saturday. And, uh, you know, was about to pick my clothes out, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then the groom called and said he has COVID. So the wedding was canceled. Y'all like my jacket? It's from Sheen. I love it. It's real thin, too. You know how, you know, jean jackets or whatever made out of that jean material be just so heavy. But this is so lightweight and it feels so good. Okay, I digress. So, yeah, he called and said he had COVID. So, thank God I hadn't brought my hotel because I was going back and forth. You know, I only stay in four or five star hotels because I got to I gotta think about that. So, I'm like, dang, I, ooh, I'm glad because a lot of times I don't be getting the thing where you can get your money back and cancel. So, I'm like, thank God I didn't get that hotel. So, you know, God had prepared me for that. And, um... So that was cool. The weekend, you know, I was chilling, whatever. But then Saturday, my my aunt's husband passed. I didn't find out to late Saturday night. I guess he passed away about 6 o'clock in the evening. And, yeah, somebody put it on Facebook. And I'm like, why is it on Facebook? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're supposed to call our family, um... You know, before you put that type of stuff on Facebook. But anyway, I found out. I called her immediately. And of course, Sunday morning, I was up. That's when y'all saw me last. This wig getting on my nerve. It's a synthetic wig. It was only supposed to be a two-day wig. But people say they like this color, this look. So, I'm trying to duplicate it with bundles. It's just been one mess. Okay, so, so yesterday, what happened? Or was it Sunday? I don't know. Anyway, yesterday, which was Monday, I was calling my mom or texting her. She was busy. She's 73 years old, still trying to work, and she had to go take a test or whatever. So, I had called her and um, she was like, you know, I'm busy, whatever. So I knew don't disturb her anymore. So I didn't talk to her anymore, you know, any more conversations after yesterday because I felt like she was irritated. She gets irritated when she's trying to focus um, and it's about some money. When it comes about some money, my mama don't play these games. So I never did call her back. Uh, so fast forward. I wake up this morning, talk to my best friend, and my best friend says, sending me all these messages. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, quit quit making something that's a thing. I said, I've been texting you all weekend. You ain't really respond. So, yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine. Are you okay? And it was like, well, you keep sending me all these cash app requests. I just sent you $100. And I'm like, I don't got no money in my cash app from you. So basically, someone just defrauded my best friend in cash app using my name. But I fought them because, my best friend, because it's like, you've been sending money back and forth for years to my, you know, my regular cash app, which has been the same. It had never changed. So when he sent me the screenshot, it was a cash app. It wasn't me. It had my full name, which I don't use my full name on cash app. And then on the top of it, it had somebody named Booby. And I'm like, first of all, you should have been like, who is Booby? What is Booby? And anytime we exchange money on cash app, we've all, we already have a conversation about it. Oh, it's for this or it's for that. And we always put a note on there about whatever it was we discussed. So you hadn't talked to me. I didn't tell you I needed anything. I hadn't asked you for anything. So you should have known. And then that's not my cash app. My regular cash app for the last four or five years, it should be in your system. But of course, they weren't paying attention. Best friend wasn't paying attention. And just saw my name, which that's not my cash app. I don't care. That's my name. Somebody just made that up. But you could clearly say, say, booby. Who the hell is booby? You should have known that. But my best friend is okay and calm, like, whatever. It's just $100. I blow $100, you know, blinking. It doesn't matter to me. And I'm like, it does matter because 
you're out of a hundred dollars and they use me to get it you know but I, my best friend has been targeted before on cash app why best friend sends a lot of cash apps to a lot of people so this ain't the first time so they just like whatever they're not even gonna try to pursue it i don't even know if you can get your money back from um cash app because they probably say you should do your due diligence was that your friend's cash app did you talk to your friend why did you send it if you was in doubt you should have sent it so somebody just got over a hundred dollars Best friend ain't mad. Best friend ain't stressing. I'm the one that's stressing because they use my name and they got $100, which could be in my pocket because I could use that $100. Honestly, I could. So, yeah. So, I talked to my mom. She's like, you're my contact. I'm way in Florida. You ain't answer your phone. I ain't called you. So-and-so is on a ventilator. So, I got another cousin that's on a ventilator fighting for her life. Uh somebody else fell and and it wasn't found for for hours uh she was like it's just important that i talk to you and you answer your phone and i'm like you were busy all day you didn't want to talk and no i didn't answer my phone i'm not gonna answer my phone if i'm asleep i'll call you back i work third shift i gotta get my sleep you know if I see you call, I'm calling back. I said, but yeah, she was screaming, yelling at me, going off on me about something I didn't even do. Like what? We talk all the time, but it was just the stress. You know, she takes on the stress of others. You know, this person going through it. This person going through it. Everybody is going through it. And now we got the threat of... 15 inches of snow on our head so i wake up i'm running around i'm concerned trying to get my hair together for next weekend for valentine's day which i shouldn't be i need to be thinking about my bills so i'm spending money that i really shouldn't be spending on a hairdo and a dinner and a valentine weekend that ain't even you know close you know, stay focused on the task at hand. So, y'all, I'm stressed. <laughs> and being stressed, you know, I've been trying to be on a health journey. Y'all seen a couple of my vlogs where I was in the hospital. You know, my health has been completely going downhill. And I've been doing good. I changed my lifestyle. I went to, you know, low carb, no sugar. Um, I've been doing really good eating my salads. You know, I've been doing everything except for exercising, but I've had some progress. Like, I get, I lost 20 pounds, like, right away, like, in a month. But I need at least another 50 more pounds to go. So, but with all the stress that's going on, the pending snow... I'm trying to figure out, do I got PTO just in case I'm not able to make it to work? Um, I've been having some issues with my tires and it seemed like maybe somebody might be messing with me at work. Um, that whole cash app thing. All of these people that's sick with COVID and fighting for their lives. I have another family member that's a child that's fighting for his life. It is just so much going on people committing suicide a lot of stuff so i'm stressed y'all and in my stressness i'm a stress eater i went and got me a number one today so now i'm stressed out about that because i shouldn't have done that i should have just learned how to decompress learn how to get in my prayer closet do my meditation sage myself up I should have saged up, got home, did my sage. Then I got to looking at my teeth. I'm like, I need to go to the dentist because even though I needed to go to a specialist to get my tooth fixed, I haven't done that. Meanwhile, I still need to get my teeth clean. So I got to make a dentist appointment. I got the IRS, you know, on my tail because I need to uh, file my 990 for my nonprofit business. 
I just want to roll up in a ball and cry right now. And I'm stressing about YouTube because I keep saying, oh, YouTube is it's my way out. It's my chance to have a better life and, you know, explore and do some of the things I want. So in my late age, which I just turned 52, what, a couple of weeks ago, you know, I could have a more life of freedom and and just doing some things and not be always under the gun with things. I want to be like my bestie. You know, my bestie, like $100 ain't nothing. I didn't been... I didn't been scammed out of ninety thousand dollars, <laughs> or a hundred and forty thousand, hundred and fifty thousand. So that's a scam because I was like, "Well, it's a lesson learned because you didn't pay attention." You know, I thank God that I have friends that got money and it's not an issue for them. I used to tell my daughter that all the time. She'd be like, "Can I get this toy?" Kind of no, use your friends because you got rich friends. You know, her friends would take her to cabins and on trips. They were like, we want money to go on our, our family trip. So, yeah, like, thank God I got friends that got my back. Even though my friend just got scammed out $100. If I was to ask for 500 right now, it would be sent to the right cash app. So, yeah, I got a few bills that's behind. I missed work last week because of snow. You know, my check was not what it was supposed to be. So that kind of threw me off too. Um, but I'm going to make it. Y'all just got to be encouraged. Like with all that I'm going through. And I know I just put a lot on y'all. I'm still encouraged. God is still good. He's still on the throne. And it is well. It's going to be well. Everything going to be uh, what it's going to be according to the will of God. You know, my aunt. She had long years with her husband. Um, you know, she said he took care of business. You know, the house is paid for. We good. Like, he handled business. So, I'm like, that's a blessing to, you know, you're going to miss your husband for over all those years. But at least you ain't got more stress added to you. So, there we are with that. But I miss y'all. I miss y'all. I really do. I got to get my other hand to, like, I just got to get up and just start talking. Um, I got a bunch of stuff from Sheen. Now, one thing I haven't stopped doing, and that's shopping. I got a lot of stuff from Sheen. I think I'm going to just lay it all on the bed and let y'all look at it. And uh, maybe we'll do a haul one by one later. Because them hauls seem like they kind of hard to do. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All that turning on, turning off. And I don't know how to work my camera. I still don't got my other camera uh, format it. I just really need help, and I'm praying to God. I'm just gonna ask God to help me. Help, Lord, send me somebody who knows this YouTube that's willing to help a sister out. Help me get started. You know, I don't want to share my YouTube channel with the world because it's not professional, and I don't like to do anything that's not well done. So, you know, I can't even get my followers up because I don't have it together. It's not professional. So I don't know if I need to seek out a graphic artist. You know, a lot of stuff I be having to do, like I had several books prepared to do print, but I would get to a stopping point where I needed somebody's help. Like with my children's book, I needed an illustrator. I didn't want to pay the publishing company to, you know, do that part, which I should have, but I didn't. So that book has just been laying dormant, just sitting on the shelf while other people, my friends, their books is, you know, done and gone. You know, they out there. You know, my autobiography should have had that done. It's not. A couple of my childhood friends, theirs is out. But I also believe that everything is about timing. You know, everything is about timing. When it's time, it's time. It'll happen. When it's meant to be, it'll meant to be. That's how I feel about marriage. I ain't tripping about marriage. I'm 52 years old. I don't know if everybody is meant to be married. You know, I'm married to my ministry. I'm married to raising my kid, you know, being a mom. You know, that in itself is a lot. So to be married and have a whole other person you got to be responsible for or whatever, be working with on a daily basis is work. <laughs> being a mom is work. So I know being married is work. So, yeah. But 
I just love y'all because at least I used to journal and everything. But at least now I got y'all. I love y'all. And we need to come up with a name and a tagline. Help me with a tagline. My name is The Mouthpiece. I chose my Instagram name because it makes sense for me. I call myself The Mouthpiece because I was called to prophesy. So I am God's mouthpiece. Um, but I ain't got no slick way to do an intro and all of that. You know, I've tried here and there to make some intros or whatever. And, um, yeah. So, I need y'all help. Hit me up in the comments. You know, be nice to me because y'all know I'm new. Supposed to get my nails done. Look at that. But after the, the day I had, I can't go sit in no nail shop and relax. I just can't. I honestly need a drink. And I don't drink no more. I haven't drank since um, November. You know, so. I just love y'all. Just help me out. You know, keep keep watching. Because it's going to be exciting. I got a hell of a testimony. And when I get to start telling my story times and sharing who I really am. Y'all going to be amazed. Like, this girl is amazing. I don't even know how I'm still living and clothed in my right mind. I should definitely be a crackhead. Should have been doing life in prison. Yep, me. If the devil had his way, I'd be doing probably 25 to life right now. On a murder charge. A murder charge. A situation that happened while I was in school, 21 years old. A murder charge. <laughs> so don't let the smooth face fool you. Your girl got some stories. She got a testimony. So, uh, to God be the glory, I'm here. And I ain't no quitter. I'm, gonna give, I'm not giving up. I mean, if I got to make a hundred horrible videos before I get a blessing... When I did my nonprofit business, I just flowed. I didn't tell anybody and it just went smooth. I Googled everything I know and I just, it went, I put it all together by myself. Nobody even knew once I presented it to the world. It was like, damn, you've been doing your thing. Okay. And the world was ready to receive it. You know, but this thing, this YouTube, okay, everybody's doing it, but you know, it ain't as easy as it looks. In order to do it right and effectively, <laughs> You, you got to have some help. You got to know somebody that's going to be willing to help you. You know, I've thrown up a couple of comments to some YouTubers, old schools that I watch and, you know, see if they catch it. Mm, they didn't catch it. So I'm not even going to go formally ask for help. You know, because I didn't threw some stuff out there. They see a sister struggling. Well, you know, if they wanted to help me, they would. You know, because I see other YouTubers helping their friends and family members get their stuff started. You know, share the wealth so we all could get paid. You know, that's what you would think people would think about it. But they don't know me, you know, but they, they take my watches. You know, when I'm watching them, you know what I'm saying? I'm helping them every time I watch, <laughs> every time I comment, because I know how YouTube work. That's how it works. So if I help you, you shouldn't be willing to help me. And I don't want any free stuff. You know, a lot of these influencers, they get all this free stuff and they want to get rid of it. So it's not really like they're doing something big for people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you need to get it out your house. Y'all got so much stuff. And then, you know, shoot, you take a chance getting robbed. Y'all show all this expensive stuff, all these clothes and $100,000 uh, luxury items, perfume. It's surprising people aren't watching you because also some people have gotten killed. Some influencers have gotten killed. And if you got your P.O. box out there, if a person really wanted to find you through your P.O. box, they could find out where you live. So I'm also prayerful about that. Because I've had some people on IG hit me up like, you know, I like your style, you know, you know. Would you want to be, you know, represent us or whatever, you know, but I'm going to take it slowly. I want to do it right because um, I want it to last forever. I've had my nonprofit business for 12 years now, been up, been down, had a place. Now I don't have a place, so I'm doing it, you know, 
remotely, virtually. <laughs> but nevertheless, I'm still moving. I haven't quit. I'm still doing something with that at all times, trying to make um, a mark, trying to help people. Because my nonprofit business is not so much that I get rich or even really come off my job anymore. I used to be like, oh, I want to have it where I can get off my job. But it's just not like that. Economy right now is not like that. Nonprofits are really, truly struggling. And those were ones that were already big in the first place. So one that's like a grassroots like myself that really wasn't all the way up off the ground. You know, we really struggling. <laughs> So I'm doing it because that's what my heart is. But y'all, I'm about to go in the house. Uh, use the bathroom. And um, I'm going to show y'all my outfit. The hood full outfit is from Shein. And uh, hopefully I can get on this computer and deal with the IRS as far as, you know, filing my forms. I need to stay legit. All right, I'll see y'all later. I'll pick y'all up in a minute. Hey, y'all, I just want to get on here and say what up, though. <laughs> it's been a crazy week. It's been snowing. That storm did hit, and I made it to work. And this is what I do while I'm in my day job. The freaks come out. Any symptoms or exposure to COVID? I don't know you either today. Huh? I don't know you either. With y'all hats on, I don't oh, know y'all no more. Okay, I changed my hat. I had on my Michael Kors beanie, but it didn't kind of, it didn't go well. I'm just running off to the store real quick. Yeah, so I got my old Navy joggers on. Look at that booty. Look at that booty. Pretty pink. I mean, sometimes you got to pop a little color. So I got my Michael Kors scarf i got on the mesh top that i had for years i think i got it from like simply 10 and this hat right here i love this hat i get a lot of compliments on i don't know what they call it but it's a men's hat and just my regular work boots you know casual cute running errands So, so, so.